Madman. You're a madman. Earth and water. But you'll find plenty of both down there. No man. Persian or Greek, no man threatens a messenger. You bring the crowns and heads of conquered kings to my city steps. You insult my queen. You threaten my people with slavery and death. Oh, I've chosen my words carefully, Persian. Perhaps you should have done the same. This is blasphemy. This is madness. This is Sparta! Hello and welcome to the second part of this project. So in the first part we created King Leonidas and in this second part we're gonna uh, trace and animate his wife. Now I think her name is Queen Gogo but <laughs> I struggled pronouncing her name so for all purpose intended we're gonna call her the Queen because I, I, I'm struggling to pronounce the name and I tried to find the Google um, how to pronounce it on Google but it wasn't very clear I don't think anyone has done it so if you know how to pronounce it please be sure to correct me in the comments below so with this with the Queen what we did is that instead of just animating or tracing and animating her we also gave her emotion so in the movie in this scene she gives almost like a head nod to King Leonidas so that you know he can <laughs> give that guy a good leg day so in this scene in this uh, project what we'll do is that we'll animate the queen and then after tracing and animating her we're gonna give her that motion where she nods her head it wasn't anything too complicated it was it was fairly simple it was just two reference that I used to create that motion but you will see in this video the other thing that I've done is that instead of putting the Persian guy in a separate video I figured that it, it would be just much easier to put him in the same video as the queen because both of those videos were much shorter than uh, Leonidas's one I think both of them were about they were an hour each and usually that would be their own um, video but because currently in this project both of them are background characters so I figure it would be better just to put them in the same uh, combine them into one video so after we do the Queen and we do her motion we're gonna animate the the um, the Persian guy I don't know what his name is so we'll call him the Persian guy so with the Queen it was a very extreme close-up of her face so it was very fast to do her because there wasn't much details other than her face and I think this is the first um, project that I've done where a, I felt like the character actually looked like what I was tracing I think if you look at all the projects that I've done man you will note that none of the things that I trace ever look like the things that all the characters they, they're supposed to look like so here, as you can see, I'm almost halfway done. I think all the work has been done. It's just me adding her hair uh, and just those little strands of hair that she has, those, the ones that are significant rather, the ones that stand out. So it was, it was very fast. Uh, I enjoyed doing this character because again, it was simple and she, she was such a contrast from animating uh, King Leonidas. King Leonidas, I think he looked very rough and with the queen here, you'll note that she's got these very soft features on her face. So I think even when you watch the the opening video, you can you can see like the differences in the softness when we look at her face, and then you can see that rigid, rough look on King Leonidas, and I think also on the Persian guy. So here you can see I'm just adding the little details, just nothing. Well, not the little details this is the colors again with her colors it was simple nothing out of the blue uh, it was just three colors I think plus the gold and whatnot but other than that it was, it was simple now you'll note that whenever Leonidas is in a close-up shot she's in the background what I did was I did animate her I did trace an animator like a, a long shot of the Queen but what happened was that again the software crashed so I didn't even realize that it wasn't recording and when I finally checked, I saw that it had only recorded two minutes worth of animation. So that was <laughs> that was a bit frustrating, but we got through it. Things that we needed to be recorded are recorded. So overall, I'm happy with the result. And here, as you can see, we're just animating the the uh, the little details. So you can see she she really 
well to me in any case she really looks like the picture that we traced for the first time i'm like yes we're finally making progress here so <laughs> i thought that was exciting if you guys are enjoying the videos that i produce then please consider subscribing it does help a lot and i'm just looking to grow and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's uh, subscribed. I know I, my goal was to reach like 11 subscribers and then you guys like just came through and now as of this recording of this video, I'm on 14 subscribers. So I uh, truly, truly uh, appreciate you guys subscribing. It means a lot. And um, yeah, uh, here's to 16 subscribers. <laughs> I know you're thinking, why shouldn't I be more ambitious? I say it's slow and steady, right? But hey, uh, I do appreciate a fast growth if that's possible. <laughs> so thank you for, for watching uh, if you've watched this far and please consider subscribing. So with the queen again, what, what I did was I also just added these portions to a face where it's, it's very dark. There's such a high contrast between the other shades of a face and uh, these parts here. So you can see, I just added that for extra detail. I tried adding another shade, but it kind of looked a bit too much and I didn't want to over complicate it. Ideally, I think for most of my projects, I would want them to be as simple as this queen way. She doesn't have a lot of detail, but you can see who she is. You, when you see her, you'll be like, oh, that's, you know, the queen right there, uh, Leonidas' uh, queen. So this is the portion where I'm going to create this cycle for her to nod her head. So all I did was I, I traced a picture of her looking down and then I, uh, I traced a picture of her looking up and then obviously when you play those simultaneously it's an up and down effect uh, I just noticed something one of the eye looks weird it looks a bit um, yeah I, I didn't see that but anyways it's alright because when I was animating as well as looking at the final image I was like wait why does that look like that so yeah so this is just me you'll note this is just the portion of her looking down and then we're gonna make her animate uh, animator looking up this project um i think all the videos for this ones are very long and yeah i think the previous one were about 10 minutes but this one but this one had just a lot of work to do so hence why the i think this is the shortest one in the series so the first one was 20 minutes this one is 16 minutes and then the last video where we animate everything together is a bit longer than all of them by i think it's 24 minutes so i hope you guys can watch the full thing if you're interested in seeing like you know behind the scenes of creating an animation so this part here what i'm doing is just i'm creating her looking up so now she's gonna look up and then when we play this in a sequence what happens is that we've got her turning looking looking uh what do you call looking up and down which i thought really was a nice effect so yeah so you can do this for, the best part is that why i always encourage like when you create actions is that if you have your own series say you're doing a, a story time animation and you're always going to use yourself as a character what happens is that you can create a series of action that have in between keyframes as well and then all you will do is that whenever you want to create a number of them so you don't want to create maybe just three or four but create maybe six or seven so that they don't look repeated and when you've got lots of them what happens is that your your animation has so much a much better effect so in terms of applying this to your own project i'd say create actions for whatever character you do so what i'm planning is that i'm just going to show i think in future i want to create like a video of how to create your own story time using animation and I think it will just help a lot of guys who want to do animation but not too they don't want to make it too complicated so i want to do something like that so here you can see she's, she she looks like she's looking up and down so you can see she nods and then she looks up and down she nods she looks up and down because this is a time lapse it's it's difficult to see it but again you i'm sure you you would have noticed it in the opening video so now we're coming to this uh to the persian guy now he was also simple as well and i thought he was gonna be very difficult but he wasn't what i was worried about it is definitely how the uh the light reflects on his face i was worried that it might not look right because he's got this portion where there's you can see that intensity in his face and the light is almost starts from his forehead and runs down to his nose i was really worried about how that was gonna look but then i think when i had finished tracing tracing him i was i was i was 
I was okay with the results. So it wasn't something that I was like, oh, oh no. So now I'm just creating the portions of his face. This is the, the mouth and everything. And you can see, this is the part that I was talking about. But the colors came together. So the, always, the funny thing that I always say is that as I'm doing this video, so when I was animating this, the final video that you saw in the beginning was not done. So me, as I do this, sometimes I have no idea what I'm doing. And when I record this, I record after I've finished everything and I'm now just watching it back. So it's almost like a reflection of the project, just going through the project that I've done. So if, if you're ever curious, so, so it's always amazing to watch things back in time before the final image was, before the final video was created. So now just working on his ears and hitting that. And once again, guys, uh, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. The project number for this is, um, let's go with, uh, what can we go with? Let's go, no, no, no. We'll use 300 for the last video. Uh, I'll say use, uh, what's over? Let's go with this simple number, 11. 11 is the number that stands out right now. So if you're watching this, we're probably at the 11th minute. So 11, put 11 in the comments and you know what that means. <laughs> it just means that you've made it this far and that's how I know, well, that's how I can keep track of if you've made it this far. So thank you so much if you've made it this far. Please consider subscribing and if you haven't already, and thank you for supporting the channel. So now you can see it's just the neck that I'm working on and then we should be, you know, just doing the last, we should be adding color to him uh, actually and then coming to other things. So here was his eyes. Again with him, with this character as well, you'll notice that there's this deep, like these black contrasts between like his skin shade. So you get his, his uh, he's got the uh, dark brown skin color and then this portion that's light and then by his eye shadows, you get that like almost black color. And I think this also applied to the Queen and uh, Queen Leonidas, uh, uh, King Leonidas rather, as well. So you can see now I'm just adding color to him. I was happy, I actually really liked the, his skin tone. It's, it was, it's, he's got a very nice skin tone that I, that I liked. And then, because previously I would just use like a brown, a general brown, but his one it's like, you think it would come out like it would look black or something but it's i don't know i don't know what what's the technical color technical name for this color but i think i'm gonna reference it in the future as well as as well as the queen no, no not the queen king leonidas as well i also really liked his skin tone was much easier to pick through all right so now i'm just adding color to the helmet oh i don't even know what it is but to his uh, headgear <laughs> i'll call it that you can see that just adding that stuff adding some shades to his color to his eyes rather making the eyes darker because i think these guys wear eyeliners and stuff because it's cool <laughs> for them do you ever feel like you say things that you like maybe i should think about the stuff that i say all right so here just adding the again those dark contrasts to, to his uh, character, which I really liked it. I really liked how the final result uh, worked out for this character because you can see like also the fear as well where, where in the scene. And then I'm not sure if I made some, if I made it smooth on the other parts of his uh, neck, but you can see he's coming to a close. We're getting them here. He's looking all right. And I was, and again here with him, I exaggerated, I exaggerated his uh, facial features as well. So I was happy with that. So you can see here now I'm just cleaning up some of the, the line work, making some of them thicker, you know, as I call it, adding the flair to the, to the project. And then, yeah, you can see that. And then uh, again with this project, um, I didn't do a, what do you call a, a test animation just because there was too much going on with the queen, him, I did, it was gonna, I, I didn't think it was necessary for in, in, a, in, in, uh, in any case. So yeah, so it, it's also another video that just ends, but again, I will tell you when the video is about to end so that you know exactly when it ends. Cause I know 
sometimes people do click off like way way faster even before the video ends which is still cool not for the views though <laughs> okay so now just adding the shades and what i'm gonna do now is just uh import a his lip syncing folder and i'm just gonna match his lips and then we're just gonna add color to those lips and then we should be getting close to to finishing uh this uh this character here so what i did was i just made a duplicate and then use that as a color reference that i can use for adding colors and you can see i'm just adding that fixing a few things and then you can see how how that looks so i was i was yeah i was i was impressed with myself <laughs> I was pleased because I was really happy with uh, with the result of this character and you can see now he does look like his lips can sink so what I did was I just made moved these things into his uh, mouth folder so that when his mouth moves also like the wrinkles move all right so we're now heading into the last minute of this video so thank you so much guys for watching this far if you haven't subscribed please consider hitting that subscribe button I appreciate all the views that I get and I'm, I'm, I'm truly grateful for the subscribers that I have and yes it's it's very encouraging to you know to see the channel growing and yeah it just makes me want to do more videos and uh, I don't know <laughs> I'm lost for words thank you guys for for watching this far I truly do appreciate it please check out the next videos and the other videos we've done and I will see you in the final video for this project and then we should be done with the 300 scene creation. Thank you so much for watching.